Well, somebody's gonna get blacklisted from every single professional sport coaching position after this weekend. I mean, this may just be some of the worst things I've ever seen. And if you want the context, let me take you to week one and see if you can figure out a little trend that's going on. Well, it's the Roughnecks versus the Showboats. And naturally, like we usually are on this channel, we're witnessing a punt, or at least that's what we think we're doing, as 54 does his best European border impression by simply letting everyone pass with as little resistance as possible. And of course, somebody gets through and blocks the punt. Now, in his defense, usually punts get off before this guy would have had time to block it, but the punter Hunter Niswinder was going a little bit slow, but still, an unfortunate on one-off event, right? Right? Well, let me take you to this week, where, hey look, it's another punt from the same team, and would you look at that, the defense uses a little twist up front to overload that right A gap and split it like the Red Sea as somebody comes scot-free down the middle for one of the easiest blocks you'll ever see. And as the camera cuts to the head coach, he is ripping into one of his coordinators. I mean, just giving him an earful, and I don't mean of wax, I'm talking about this little snippet. And now you may wonder, Isaac, did I hear three blocks in three weeks? We, we've only seen two. And yes, that is because I saved the best for last, or I guess the worst for last. And it comes in week two, punt number one, okay? And on the first block we saw, it was just the punter moving maybe a little bit slow. Uh, on the third block that we saw, it was honestly schemed up pretty well by the opposing team and timed up perfectly, even though yes, this guy 100% blocked the wrong person. But week two was just the biggest disaster in my opinion. First, we have this terrible matchup, just off the rip. Let's look at it, okay? Number 13, Tyon Evans, listed at 5'9 and 228 pounds. So, you know, stocky fella. And he's blocking number 55 from the defenders, a 6'1, 230 linebacker. And while their weight may only say three pounds apart on paper, if you actually believe that, I've got a bridge to sell you. But this is a bad matchup regardless, even if that is true, especially when you're considering the fact that you're talking about having to kick step three steps backwards and then try to block somebody with a four inch height advantage and a minimum of a three pound weight advantage who has just built up a full head of steam going towards you and if you think Isaac you're BSing this cannot be as bad of a matchup as you think if you don't believe me take the coach's word for it because this guy is not on this unit anymore on the following week but that's not even the worst part because yes the punt gets blocked then it gets picked up by the defenders, but it gets punched out. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the possession rules of football, if you lose possession on fourth down like this, and then the other team gains possession, and then they lose possession and you recover it, you get the ball back. It's a turnover, so you get to reset your downs and it's first down again. And after he clearly has possession and then fumbles it, all somebody has to do from the Roughnecks is just pick the ball up but instead everybody stares at it and the worst part is somebody kicks it out of bounds one of their own players just kicks it out of bounds oh this made me so mad but yeah three weeks three blocks three fun unique ways to get blocked and then this monstrosity of a play of people just not knowing the rules yeah there's definitely a firing on the horizon this is terrible